One day, Kit the cat woke up at his usual time, 1.30 p.m. He went downstairs to eat breakfast and noticed he didn't have any food. So he wandered outside to get some fresh food too, and then seen his buddy Kyle the flower. Kyle wasn't looking well, so Kit the cat asked him what the matter was. Kyle the flower said he wasn't getting enough sunlight, and he couldn't produce C6H12O6 and O2. Then Kyle explained that cats need these things to live because they are reactive to cellular respiration. Then Kyle also explained that without the products of photosynthesis, he would never be able to go through cellular respiration. And cellular respiration is what keeps animals alive. So then Kit the Cat asked him what he can do to get him more sunlight, and Kyle said that he needed to have the tree blocking the sun cut down and needed to be watered with H2O, which is a product along with CO2 of cellular respiration. So Kit the Cat somehow managed to find somebody to cut down the tree so Kyle could get better. About a week later, Kyle was already looking better than he did a week ago. Kyle said he was going through photosynthesis and could produce glucose and oxygen to help Kit the Cat go through cellular respiration and remain healthy. Kit the Cat only had one more question. Why are these processes important? Kyle was very smart, so obviously he knew the answer. He then told Kit the Cat that photosynthesis helps cellular respiration, and cellular respiration helps photosynthesis. The products of photosynthesis are the reactive cellular respiration and vice versa. He also told Kit the Cat about the chemical equations too. For cellular respiration, he said it was C6H12O6 plus O2 plus CO2 plus sunlight plus H2O. And for photosynthesis, it is CO2 plus sunlight plus H2O plus C6H12O6 plus O2. Kit the Cat thanked Kyle for all the information and Kyle thanked Kit for helping him get better. From now on after this, Kyle Tudor Kit to try to smarten him up.